Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jake Cameo here from Core Gaming, and today we are going to be talking about ABC. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about my pure ABC deck build. Um, there are some engines in here that you'll see, uh, but they're not necessarily uh, something that makes the deck not a pure ABC. So we're going to go ahead and get into this, but before we do, I want to go ahead and say uh, for anyone who voted on Twitter, uh, I ran a poll um, asking if you wanted to see this or um, my wife uh, show what she's done with her uh, deck of the Shadals so far. Um, it being her first deck and everything, um, but at the moment we are actually, um, as you guys are probably watching this video, we are probably uh, at the hospital and everything now. Um, our baby that we are having, um, if you guys didn't know, we are pregnant and our baby may be coming a little earlier than expected. So um, with that being said, I thought I would do this before we got into all that, before we got too busy, so that you guys would have something rather than nothing. So. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop on into this. Alright, so this build is going to be the build that uh, kind of encompasses the Link um, sort of era. So this is going to be focused uh, around being able to play with Link monsters. Um, but as soon as April hits, this deck will change a little bit and I'll kind of explain that as we go. But, as it stands, we run two AB, or a, blah, 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 a Assault Core, sorry about that. And we run two B Buster Drake and two C, C Crush Wyvern. So we run two pieces right now. Um, we will run three when April hits just because we can get better numbers. Um, but as it stands right now, um, kind of the max you want to go for is two ABC uh, Dragon Buster Cannons. So, or ABC Dragon Busters, sorry. So that's kind of the ratio for those guys. And then we run two Gold Gadget. Um, sometimes you want to run three gold gadget, um, sometimes you don't. So as it stands, we run two gold and two silver. So uh, because these guys can get you into uh, rank four plays, uh, to where you can go into Baguska and buy time for your uh, main combo. So if you did not know, this is in fact a going first deck. Um, this is pretty much strictly going first. You can still kind of go second, although you will have a lot of issues. Um, so, this is more of a fun build rather than competitive, but it does have competitive uh, features that I'm sure you guys can touch on and make even better for yourselves. So, and then we run two Vic Viper, just because Vic Viper is pretty much a free body, and uh, he's also um, very interchangeable with the deck. Um, he floats from the graveyard, he floats from your hand, he's just basically a free card all around that does nothing but gives you boosts. Um, his entire purpose is to boost up your other light machine monsters by 1,200. So that's a huge number. When it, I, Every time I talk about this guy, I say the word huge. But this card is just a huge card, especially for ABCs. Anybody not running this card in ABCs, at least at one, is crazy and out of their mind. So, so we run that, and then we run one Honest. Um, I personally prefer uh, two, maybe three Honest, depending on what you're going against. Um, but just for the standard matchup, I usually run it at 1 just to be safe, but I do love playing this guy at 2. So, um, And we do run all three copies in the deck. Uh, the other two sit in the side deck for that first matchup though. So, And then as far as the other uh, cards I mentioned, uh, we run two Preta Plant Scorpio and one Darling Cobra. So this is going to go in and get your main combo card. I keep saying main combo card because there's one card in particular that this, that this deck runs around. So, um, and it can definitely, it doesn't have to get this card off, but when it does get this card off, it is absolutely beautiful. So you definitely want this card to pop off. So you, we run these guys to make sure that we get at least one to two copies in our hand at all times. So, and then to kind of further that, we run one Lone Blossom, uh, Lone Fire Blossom, just so that we can go into the Scorpio and then into the Cobra. Um, definitely, if you hit the Cobra first hand, it hurts. So that's why we want to maximize our chances of getting uh, Scorpio rather than Cobra. So 
with that being said, let's get into some of these other guys. Next off, we run a lot of kind of countery options. Um, there's a lot of decks floating around right now. Um, Shadals are floating around, rockets, heroes, cyber dragons, the whole nine yards. It's crazy out there. So for us to kind of counter that, we run two wing Dragon of Ross Sphere Mode. Sphere Mode is absolutely beautiful at all times. Um, most of the decks these days will run cards that will have two to three bodies on board minimum. So this card is definitely what you want to play. Um, you can even play it at three if you want to. I've just always been super comfortable at two. So that's why we run it at two. And then speaking of two, we also run two Cyframe Gear Gamma with the one driver. Um, I also run another copy of Gamma in the side deck because he is absolutely beautiful at three. You definitely want to see Gamma these days. So, because Gamma is just all powerful to all monster effects. So it's absolutely beautiful, especially turn one. Um, just cutting people off from their main strategies is always a nice thing. So we have that. But our main sort of card that we want to kind of go into or always have at least some sort of this card in our hand. So the next guy we run is DD Crow because DD Crow counters the one counter that we never want to see. We never want to see uh, Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is our one true counter to this deck. Ash Blossom hurts this deck so much. Um, it doesn't hurt it as much as you might think, but it is definitely the worst card to have dropped on you in this deck. So we run plenty of counters for that. So we run DD Crow so that we can get rid of that Ash Blossom so that it can't get its effect off. And then furthering that, we were going, we will go on into our spells. And I kind of want to uh, change the order of these spells so that I can kind of continue talking about this. So we run the two DD Crows, and then we also run the three Called by the Graves. This is five counters for the Ash Blossom because we do not want the Ash Blossom to pop off on us. So that's why we run that. And then now, for the biggest card, the best card in your entire deck is going to be the Future Fusion. Future Fusion, uh, its effects have changed since its original printing, so you definitely have to buy yourself a turn. But thankfully, with this build, you can easily go into a Baguska, an Abyss Dweller, whatever you need to kind of buy yourself some time against whoever you're fighting. And there's even a beautiful combo that I will explain later that we can do with the Baguska and uh, Gamma and all that stuff. So, um, But this is the main card of the deck, you want to pop off Future Fusion so that you can banish, or not banish, but discard um, all of your ABC pieces into the graveyard. That way you can get all ABC cards on the field, all, the, all of your um, ABC Dragon Busters. You want all of those on the field. Um, so that's why we kind of have to play into the link play, because right now you can, the easiest thing to get out is the uh, two links, um, so that you can get one here and one ABC here. Um, so that's the easiest thing to do right now, but once April hits, you can get all three on the board fairly easy. So with that being said, that's our main objective is to use Future Fusion so that we can discard all of our ABC pieces from our deck. And we usually want to pop that off turn one. That's why we run so many cards to be able to get to it. We either have one or two in our hand almost every single hand. So with that being said, we don't only want our ABC Dragon Busters on the field. That's not enough. We can banish cards, sure, we can discard cards to ban with, with our banish effects, sure, but that's not what we want. If we, can, if, we can, if we can avoid using our banish effects, fantastic. Because that means that we're not going to get countered, we're not going to get negated and destroyed, we're not going to get any of that. We are going to be absolutely protected by that. So we are going to go all in. Once we get our ABC Dragon Busters, we are going all in, baby. We are going all in with three limiter removals. You can pop one of these, you can pop two of these, you can pop all three of these and get absolutely crazy numbers on your opponents where they have no chance but to scoop before you take their life points. It is absolutely nutty. And because we run uh, three of these, we want to max out even more. So we run the one Psychic Fervor, which is pretty much a solo version of the limiter removal, but it itself is also really good but not nearly as good as Limited Removal. So, what these cards do is they both will double cards attack points. Fantastic. You have, I will explain this in further detail later. I'm getting too excited. Okay, so they both double, uh, they both double your monster's attack. 
This one specifically machines, this one any monster. So that's absolutely crazy. But with this card, you actually have to pay life points equal to the monster's attack before doubling it. So keep that in mind. Make sure if you play this, you play this very early in any combos, especially before you play limiter removal, things like that. Definitely want this card to pop off first, that way you're taking the minimal amount of life points possible. So, also, keep in mind that limited removal will destroy all cards that it doubles the attack of at the end of the turn. So, with that being said, once you go all in, know that you are going all in. So, um, you can play this card defensively as well, which is actually a lot better sometimes because with the ABC Dragon Buster, you can double the attack to make sure your opponent can't uh, attack over you, while also at the end of your turn, you can use, uh, AB or at the end of your opponent's turn, you can use uh, ABC Dragon Buster's effect uh, to get the ABC pieces back onto your field so that you're not, um, so that you're not um, negative pieces, I suppose. Um, you're not really um, making any sort of, of neg there, so. Um, with that being said, this, this is just an amazing combo that I absolutely love. I love getting huge numbers and <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Sorry <clears throat> um, But with that being said, let's move on So then we run two super poly uh, super poly is just kind of like our um, Backup sort of um, there's lots of Shadals out there. There are lots of um, heroes lots of dark monsters in general out there um, so we definitely run two super poly uh, just for some coverage also for the discard effect in case we have any ABC pieces in our hand um, We can also discard the um, Vic Viper a lot. We can discard a lot of cards in our hand. So um, This is absolutely beautiful um, because like I said when you go all in you are going all in So if you have to get rid of cards in your hand do it because you are going to absolutely plus from anything that happens in this deck so We run the one foolish burial um, just because if there's any sort of complications with um, maybe you did get ashed and for some reason you couldn't counter it uh, Get more ABC pieces in the graveyard that way uh, Or my favorite thing to do with this is to get Vic Viper in the graveyard That way he can special summon himself from the grave and go ahead and plus off that so Then we run the one upstart goblin the one hand destruction and the one slash draw so Plus, plus, plus. That's all I see here. This, uh, this you draw a card, this is instantly just amazing. Um, 1,000 life points means nothing to how much attack points you're going to come at your opponents with. Um, hand destruction, you um, discard any cards that you don't need in your hand, um, such as ABC pieces. Um, maybe you drew the Cobra, you can go ahead and discard that. Uh, you can discard any um, uh, Vic Vipers. Um, anything like that you can pretty much discard anything and it's perfectly fine. You draw two more cards Great probably gonna draw into one of those limiter removals, which is gonna uh, make your play even faster or maybe one of the um, Future fusions which is gonna make your play even safer. So and then the slash draw here um, also discard fodder um, also uh, has the ability to discard and also has the ability to um, Discard cards from your deck so that you can get more ABC pieces uh, in your graveyard that way. So, absolutely amazing for the ABC deck. I love Slash Draw. Um, I wish it was at two so it would be even more broken, but that's a little much. I understand. So, and that's going to be it for the main deck. Uh, we actually run zero traps in this deck. So, um, you're a big, another big uh, weakness for this deck is definitely going to be the um, anti spell fragrance. So, you also uh, will have cards for that, but um, also being the uh, Dragon Buster's effect, you can just banish anti-spell fragrance, um, stuff like that, but you have to get it off first. If your opponent knows you're playing that many spells and they play uh, anti-spell fragrance, it's not really a good thing. So you can side in things to counter that if you want to. Um, this is just kind of like a quick, fun build, but um, like I said, it's not really competitive yet, but it definitely can be. So I definitely encourage you guys to make it as competitive as you possibly can and get back with me and let me know what you guys did because I would love to hear that because I love this deck. So Now moving on to the extra deck. We of course play the three ABC Dragon Buster. He's an awesome boss monster who gets two crazy numbers and banishes things. Simple as that. 
And then for um, backup sake, we run the starting venom for the uh, super poly. And then as far as synchro monsters, we run one red dragon archfiend, um, just because you can go into Baguska, and then if uh, Baguska gets destroyed or something along that, those lines somehow, and your opponent still has a lot or all of their cards in defense mode, then um, you can use Red Dragon Archfiend uh, with, or go into Red Dragon Archfiend with the Gamma and Driver, and then attack all of his defense, their uh, defense position monsters and destroy them in that way. So um, I really like that combo with Red Dragon Archfiend. Um, it's really great and it's just awesome. So <laughs> next up we have the one Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller is just really good. Cuts off a lot of decks um, these days. So Abyss Dweller is a safe play as well as Baguska. So. And speaking of Baguska, we also have Baguska. Um, Baguska, if you don't know, he can go into defense mode and pretty much cut off all effects for a couple turns. So, very good, very good. Um, and then we have, uh, just in case, um, just in case for some reason we can't get our um, main combo off with the Future Fusion, we can also do very similar things with uh, getting a Utopia out on the field and then dropping a Utopia the Lightning or either, or either or even going in uh, and having a Utopia the Double Package and then going into uh, 2,000 attack or something like that. It's crazy numbers. So, um, very good, very good. And then we have the, as far as Link Monsters, we have the Barricade Board Blocker. Um, he's kind of like a, your last dish effort to get Future Fusion. Um, he can discard a card, which makes it great for this deck. Um, he can also go in at the end of your turn and search out one of your Future Fusions. So. That can set you up if you are just, for some reason, that bricky. Um, I've never been that bricky, but it can happen. Um, sometimes you just want that coverage of having another uh, Future Fusion just in case uh, for next turn. So you can do that if you would like. He's definitely a very good card. Um, then we have the Beat Cop from the Underworld. Um, she's really good because I really like going into her and protecting one of my ABC pieces from being destroyed by limit removal. Uh, so that's why she's in here. She's um, very good as far as you can go into the Preta Plants, get both Preta Plants, go into her, and then uh, pop off with your Future Fusion. Um, so, and then you have the two Link Zones and Protection. Very good, very good. And we have the Deco Talker, um, also Protection and uh, Big Numbers with the two Link Zones. Um, Nightmare Unicorn, popping things are fun. Um, discord, uh, discard ability, so, uh, and you can draw, so no negatives there. Um, similar effects with the uh, Nightmare Griffin, um, a little bit harder to get out, um, uh, Link 4s aren't really what you're going for in this deck, you can do it, but your main objective is obviously the ABC um, attack for game. And then sort of the same for Boral Sword, Boral Sword is always a win condition no matter what deck he's in, so Boral Sword's here for that reason. And that's going to do it for the extra deck, going on into the side deck. So starting off, we run the three other uh, ABC pieces. Um, this deck is actually going to be extremely good. Uh, once April hits, um, you're going to get into uh, big numbers on the field, big numbers in attack. This is going to be absolutely nuts when April hits. So I'm definitely playing these three in the side deck for now. Um, you can still run three more if you would like, if you just want to see or build it. Um, in a, a three-piece manner. It's definitely doable and definitely workable, but as it stands right now, I'm gonna wait until April hits to play these three guys, um, but they are in the side deck just in case. And I play the one gold gadget, um, just in case I don't see one of the gadgets soon enough, because um, you definitely want one of the gadgets um, sort of starting out, um, just so you can go into your Baguska and buy time. Um, going to Baguska or Abyss Dweller first turn is fantastic and um, definitely can buy you enough time to get whatever combos or things like that you need going done. So, And then we run the third Vic Viper because Vic Viper is just amazing. Um, sometimes running three can be uh, too much, so that's why I run it at two. Um, you can also run this guy at one easily, um, but I like running two just to make sure that I get at least one in the, the graveyard or the hand um, so that you can special summon him and use his ability. And then we run the other two Honest. Um, because Honest is always a good card, especially with a light-based deck like this. Um, going and making your opponent's attack zero is always beautiful, especially with such huge numbers like we have. And then I run the other Gamma, 
just because Gamma is always a good card, especially if you want to see him going first, um, definitely need to run three of this guy. And then we run uh, Dimension Shifter. Dimension Shifter can definitely be a huge uh, crippler uh, enabler for other decks, um, especially going ter uh, turn one. If you drop this, it, put it hinders a lot of decks going out right now. Um, I honestly can't think of a deck that it wouldn't hinder right now. So um, one Dimension Shifter is all you really need. If you draw into it first turn, great. Um, if you don't, it's kind of just a brick at that point. So um, running one is all you really need to run, in my opinion. And then we run the three Nibiru. Nibiru is sort of a god card right now. Um, he, uh, a lot of decks are running uh, decks that make you um, special summon many, many times in a turn. Um, everyone's scared of Nibiru. Nibiru is absolutely terrifying for a lot of decks. Um, this deck included, although we can definitely play around Nibiru easily. So not the scariest, but if you're not careful, it can definitely hinder you. So. Um, that's where we run three, just because it hinders everyone else as well. Then we run two Twin Twister for back row decks. Um, there's a lot of cards out there that we would probably need to get rid of. Um, there's there's not much to say other than that. Um, the biggest plus from this card is it gets rid of something and it discards for you. So that's always fantastic and great. And then we run one Union Hanger. Um, this is mainly so that we have something that our opponent will Ash Blossom before our Future Fusion. Um, so if we know that they're going to be running 3 Ash Blossom, um, then we can definitely run this as another way to kind of bait that Ash Blossom. Um, other than that, it doesn't really serve too huge of a purpose. Uh, just being honest, this is, this is your bait card. This is what you want to bait your opponent with. Um, other than that, you can pretty much play anything you want. And uh, that's going to be it for the side deck. All right, so that's gonna do it for my kind of fun ABC uh, deck build. If you guys have any comments or concerns, just let me know in the uh, comments down below. If you guys make this deck more competitive, definitely let me know in the comments down below as well. And uh, that, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.